Now we're going to do this laundry room after I've done, done my son's room. And remember in my earlier videos I put up caulk in these. This is a lattice, just a first step for my final step. Now I'm going to have to mask off these cupboards right here so that when I do the ceiling up here that paint doesn't drip on these cupboards. This is where the green tape or blue tape comes in. The thing about it is that you see underneath this wood it's probably pure white. Okay, what we have is a stain on it and then we have uh, as you can see a shiny acrylic finish, an interior finish. Now if you use white tape the adhesive on it is so strong that it could pull off the outer shiny part and the stain. Now if you do that you've got a huge mess and you, the owners will want you to fix that and it's very hard to fix if you're not from a refinishing shop. You don't want to do it period. Okay, Even if you know how you don't want to do it because you can't make it look right. Put it, put it like this. If you're, say if you're a woman all right, and you do your fingernails in some candy red or apple or green or whatever neat color it you want to do and you put some of this white tape this is green but you put some of this white tape on your finger fingernail and everything's going fine and then you rip the white tape off and it takes half your fingernail polish off that's the problem with these cabinets and all this woodwork is you don't know who refinished it or how good they did it and they did a they did it an ass backward job on this one but it's got it's really good wood so what I'm going to do is run this tape from this edge to the corner. I'll do the caulking afterwards. That does, you know, I usually do it before, but I'm not going to wait a day. I'll run it all the way across the top in one motion, all the way over here, and then I'll run a piece of green tape from that edge on the wood side all the way down to the bottom here. Now, if you look up here, you'll see where paint has bled through on some other painting job. I'm going to show you how to remove that and get a nice crisp line, just like that, after this job is over. Now, your secondary thing you need is a 9-foot draw plastic, which is here, which is right here. You get this at any painter's store, it rolls out to about 9 feet. What you want to do is... This is this sounds crazy, but this is the way it's done. If you want to do it professionally with with saving yourself time on preparation, so you can spend most of your energy on what you need to do is for putting paint on the surface. What you want to do is use both hands. Start with this hand here, and say I, I have another hand over here, and I hold it right here against this edge because I know that the 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 wood's going to be right there. Then I roll this out to the corner. Okay, which is here. Now the trick with the corner is, it's better if you. I, it's hard to do with, with uh, with two hands. But okay, let's say you put an extra foot for the quarter, corner. If you don't do it, your plastic is going to bow out like this. It won't go straight to the edge and down, straight to the edge and down. And that's just the way it works. So we give it an extra foot here. Say, okay, that's an extra foot right there. Now we turn the plastic, hard to do one-handed, and we start from this edge right here. And we go all the way across, and you can do this with two hands, but I can't do it with one. But we go, we'll go all the way across, all the way across, what are you doing? Get out of there, spy cat, Jesus Christ. We're, we're going to do some spy cat videos coming up with um, um, my special spy weapon and a I've caught this spy in action, red-handed, no pun intended, and I'm going to see by Deep Portner. Okay, now we want to go all the way over to the corner, right to here. Then once you get your length right, you just cut it. You start on this corner, right here. We're, I'll put uh, some green tape right down to here, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll probably put a piece of tape 
just up and over this because if there's any kind of fallout, it'll fall right here. 